Hi mom. It's the first storm of the season in Southern California, so that makes today a wet, windy widget Wednesday. So let me go show you a bunch of weather widgets you can install on your Mac so you can decide which is the best for you. Here are five different weather widgets I've installed on my dashboard so I could give you a quick tour of the features and the quirks of each of these widgets. Up here you'll see this is the basic weather widget that comes installed on your Mac. And besides the usual setting of the location and whether you want Fahrenheit or Celsius, really the only other control is whether you you want to show the forecasted lows for the day. See those are in the smaller numbers down here. Uh, it's nice because it's relatively compact. It shows you six days of forecast where you'll see in a minute some of the others don't show as many days. And if you want it smaller you can click in the forecast area and it'll shrink to just today's information. Also if you want more information and this is common in most of these widgets. If you click on the location, that will actually open a browser window or a new tab and take you, in this case, to the Yahoo weather site where you can get more information. I'll hide that for now. So back on the dashboard here, the next one you'll see is the Weather Channel widget, which by default looks like this. One thing nice about it is if you click on these tabs up here, you can show both the forecast and a radar map at the same time. But unfortunately, the forecast only goes until tomorrow. If you want more than that, you'll have to click on the 10-day button, which, like I showed you a second ago, that will open a new browser window to give you that information. And in general, I figure, if I'm looking at the dashboard, I want to see all the information on the dashboard. I don't want to open up a new window. You may be different, but that's just me. You'll also see there's severe weather alert details in my area. Once again, if I click on that, it'll take me to a browser window. This one up here is from Weatherbug. They call it the local weather widget. And like the Weather Channel one, you can click on this forecast tab here to get a three-day forecast. So that's a little better than the Weather Channel, but not as good as this weather widget. Or you can click to get a radar map. But you'll notice you can only get one or the other. Forecast or radar, you can't get both of them like you do in the Weather Channel app, or I mean widget. Here's my favorite, actually, down here. This is from the Weather Underground, which both the Weather Underground and the Weather Bug are made up of a bunch of some amateur and some airport weather stations. And what's nice about it, whereas the basic weather widget and the Weather Channel widget, you can just pick your city by zip code or name, the Weather Bug and Weather Underground actually let you pick from a list of weather stations within your neighborhood. So you can see I actually picked one that's just two blocks away, one that a buddy of mine has in his backyard. Also, the Weather Underground lets you see a forecast. And again, I like this because it's a six-day forecast, just like the basic weather widget. And if you want, you can even see a radar map at the same time. But I have to admit, it's a relatively small one here. Finally, Anna on Facebook recommended this one, which is called Radar in Motion. And it's really great because it has by far the largest uh, weather map. And it's not just a radar map. You can change it to a bunch of different things. You could do a, um, a satellite map if you want, which Instead of showing just the rain, you give it a few seconds to download the new map here. Here we go. This shows you clouds and the temperature of the clouds. Also, you'll notice down here, it says two of two. It's actually got both maps in there now, and you'll see it's rotating between the two. 
if I don't want to wait, I can just click on this and switch back and forth. So that's kind of neat that it lets me have multiple maps in there. So that's the uh, quick survey of these five different ones. I have links in the article below to download any of them so you can play around with them or you know maybe you can tell right here which is your favorite. Um, in any case, I uh, hope the weather in your area is good and have fun with these weather widgets.